Hey there. So imagine I told you that in the next 16 minutes, you'd understand the basics of physics from gravity to quantum mechanics. Impossible, you say. You're probably right. But here's the thing, while we won't be experts at the end, I guarantee you'll walk away understanding the big ideas that shape our universe and our lives every day. Today, I'll guide you through five areas of physics. Classical mechanics, energy and thermodynamics, electromagnetism, relativity, and quantum mechanics. No calculators or formulas require just a sense of curiosity and maybe a cup of coffee. Number one, classical mechanics. Let's start with the part of physics you might actually feel in your bones, classical mechanics. Imagine you're rushing to catch a bus, and as you start running, you feel the force of every muscle pushing you forward. Newton, our physics superhero, figured this out centuries ago. His big discovery, Newton's second law. F is equal to M, A of force equals mass times acceleration. Basically, how hard you push something depends on how heavy it is and how fast you want it to go. So yes, that explains why pushing a fully loaded grocery cart feels like Olympic weightlifting uh, compared to an empty one. And while Newton was on a roll, he also figured out why we're not floating off into space every time we jump. His law of universal gravitation tells us that Every object with mass pulls on every other object with mass. This is why Earth pulls you down and why you pulled Earth up, although Earth hardly notices because it's so massive. Think about it, gravity is like the universe's most relentless, flingy friend. Drop a pin, gravity grabs it. Slip on a banana peel, gravity's got you. Every single moment, gravity is keeping you grounded even if it's sometimes a little overprotective. Number two, energy and thermodynamics. Moving on from gravity to energy, which might sound boring, until you realize energy makes everything happen. It's why you get out of bed coffee energy, how your car moves fuel energy, and why your phone lights up when you're watching videos battery energy. Energy can take many forms. But let's start with the classic dual kinetic and potential energy. Kinetic energy is the energy of motion. So if you're roller skating down a hill, your kinetic energy is off the charts. Potential energy, on the other hand, is stored energy. When you're standing at the top of that hill with your roller skates on, you have potential energy. Just waiting to become kinetic when you roll down. It's like a roller coaster paused at the top full of suspense and a bit of terror. Now here's a funny little twist in physics. We say that energy can't be created or destroyed, it just changes forms. So when you jump off a diving board, your potential energy high up becomes kinetic energy splashing down. Conservation of energy, folks. It's the universe's way of recycling. Thermodynamics takes this energy concept and adds heat. One key idea here is entropy which measures how chaotic things are. In thermodynamics, entropy loves messiness. The second law of thermodynamics is that left to its own devices, everything tends toward disorder. So if your room is a mess, it's not your fault. It's just the natural flow of entropy. Neatness goes against the laws of physics. Number three, electromagnetism. Next up, electromagnetism, the secret sauce behind everything from lightning to Wi-Fi to that mild electric zap when you touch a doorknob. First, let's talk about charges. Imagine um, they're like people at a party. Positive charges and negative charges attract each other, while like charges repel, kind of like how two people wearing the same dress at a party might not want to be seen together. But this attraction and repulsion are what create electric fields, a key part of electromagnetism. Now, the real magic happens when charges start moving, creating magnetic fields. James Clerk Maxwell figured this out, leading to the field of electromagnetism. Moving electric charges create a magnetic field, and vice versa, which is how electricity and magnets talk to each other. 
Ever wonder why you can generate electricity by spinning magnets in a coil of wire? That's why, thanks to this dance between electricity and magnetism, we have everything from light bulbs to cell phone signals to MRI machines. Oh, and by the way, light itself is an electromagnetic wave. So next time you're sitting in the sun, just remember that you're being hit by billions of these little waves. Maxwell showed us that light, radio waves, and even x-rays are all part of the electromagnetic spectrum. Without Maxwell's equations, we'd still be in the dark, literally. Number four, relativity. Now buckle up because here comes Einstein with his mind-bending theory of relativity. Let's start with special relativity, which basically says that the speed of light is constant no matter how fast you're moving. Imagine you're on a spaceship zooming through space at half the speed of light. You'd think if you turned on a flashlight, the light from it would go even faster, right? Nope. Both you and someone on Earth would see the light moving at exactly the same speed. To make this work, time and space have to bend, which means time can actually slow down or speed up depending on how fast you're moving. This slowing down of time is called time dilation. So if you hop on a spaceship moving near the speed of light, your clock would tick slower compared to someone back on Earth. Talk about the ultimate excuse for missing deadlines. Sorry, I was traveling close to the speed of light. My time was literally moving slower. Then there's general relativity, where Einstein tackled gravity and showed it wasn't a force in the traditional sense. Instead, massive objects like planets and stars bend the space around them, causing smaller objects to follow curved paths. So Earth isn't pulling on the moon. Instead, it's bending space, so the moon follows a curved orbit. Imagine a bowling ball on a trampoline. The trampoline dips, and any smaller balls like marbles will roll toward it. That's essentially what gravity does to space-time. This bending of space-time has real-life effects, like making GPS satellites run on slightly different time scales, because they're farther from Earth's gravity. Without correcting for general relativity, our GPS wouldn't be accurate, and you'd be lost all the time or at least more than usual. Number five, quantum mechanics. And finally, let's get weird with quantum mechanics. The part of physics that deals with things so tiny, they seem to have their own bizarre rules. If classical mechanics is the physics of stuff you can see and touch, quantum mechanics is the physics of stuff. So small it makes a grain of sand look like a boulder. One of the first surprises of quantum mechanics is that energy isn't continuous. It comes in little packets called quanta. Max Planck discovered this, and it blew everyone's mind. Think of quanta-like coins. You can have one coin, two coins, but not 1.5 coins. In the same way, electrons can only exist in certain energy levels, like they're on specific floors of a building, not in between. Quantum mechanics also has the Heisenberg uncertainty principle which says that the more precisely you know an object's position, the less precisely you know its momentum, and vice versa. It's like trying to find Waldo if you know he's in the bottom left of the page. You lose track of exactly what he's wearing. At the atomic level, particles behave the same way. If you know where an electron is, you can't know how fast it's moving. And if you know how fast it's moving, good luck figuring out where it is. Then there's the idea of superposition. Imagine if you were somehow both at work and at the beach until someone actually looked to see where you were. That's superposition. An electron can be in multiple places at once until we measure it, at which point it collapses into one location. Schrodinger's famous thought experiment, Schrodinger's cat. Imagine the cat in the box that's both alive and dead until you open the box to check. It's a weird way of explaining the reality of quantum systems there in all possible states, until observed. And then we have entanglement. Quantum particles can get entangled so that whatever happens to one particle instantly affects the other, even if they're light years apart. Einstein famously called this spooky action at a distance because it seemed like information was traveling faster than light. While we still don't fully understand it, Entanglement is real and forms the basis for some emerging technologies. 
by quantum computers. So there you have it. Five big ideas that make up the foundation of physics. Classical mechanics shows us why apples fall. Energy and thermodynamics explain how we stay warm or overheat. Electromagnetism powers our tech. Relativity bends our minds in space-time. And quantum mechanics keeps things wild at the atomic level. Physics might seem like it's full of strange concepts, but these ideas are constantly in action all around you. Whether you're streaming this video on Wi-Fi, driving a car, or just sitting in a chair feeling in gravity pull you down, physics is everywhere. I hope this gives you a new appreciation for the invisible laws of the universe and maybe makes you feel a little smarter the next time you drop something. Turn on a light or check your GPS. Thanks for joining me on this whirlwind tour of physics. Stay curious. And remember, physics isn't just about equations. It's about understanding how we fit into the world and why it works the way it does. If I manage to make physics feel slightly less like wizardry, give this video a thumbs up, subscribe for more brain-bending fun, and share it so your friends can suffer. I mean, enjoy science with you.